Hello, 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 and welcome to this video where I am going to be showing you how to edit a video inside of Canva. A lot of people don't know that there are basic editing that you can do inside of Canva. So I'm going to reveal those to you today. If you want to learn how to actually add a video or embed a video from the internet into your Canva presentation, then you can go ahead and watch my other video on that. But this video is dedicated to how you can actually edit videos inside of Canva. Now listen, this is not any magnificent editing. It's not something that is going to replace your most robust editing tool. This is just for simple edits. But before I show you exactly how to do the editing, I'm going to show you how I use my videos inside of Canva. Now this is a template that I've created in Canva and this is my IGTV template. So any pre-recorded video that I want to show up on IGTV. This is the template I use because you have to have a certain kind of orientation for your videos to show up in the best quality on IGTV. And this is the template that I use. So this is one of the ways that I literally just upload my videos inside of Canva, do some simple edits to them and then play them on IGTV. So let's jump on over to the homepage to show you exactly how you can edit a video inside of Canva. Now I'm going to select the presentation template and it's going to show up as a blank space and that's exactly what I want. So first things first, you want to upload your video into Canva. Now find the upload button on the left menu and just select upload then go to upload media and you're going to click on this option that says device. It means that you're basically uploading a video from your device. And once you've selected that video, you're going to upload as normal. Now I've already gone and pre-uploaded my video. So I'm going to go back to the upload section. Let's go back and then I'm going to go to videos. And this is where all of your pre-uploaded videos are stored. So let me select this particular testimonial from one of my course clients to show you exactly how you can get this edit done. Now, there are a few things that you can do. Remember I said this is not going to replace your robust editing tool, but if you're short on time and you don't need any major edits to be done, you can absolutely get it done in Canva. So here are a couple of things that you can do. This video was filmed a few months ago before I changed my boss teacher logo. Now, if I want to share this video testimonial, but hide the old boss teacher logo, this is all I need to do with this little this teeny rectangle right here at the center bottom you're just gonna click on hold and just drag that up to cover up that old logo so as you can see that old logo has disappeared from the video let's say I want to show the video a little bit narrower so we're gonna cut off all that dead space on the left we're going to do the exact same thing. Look for that small gray rectangle in the center and drag it. We're going to do the same thing on the right, drag it across. So now we framed our video a little bit differently. And you can always now click any one of the corners to stretch it, to make it match the presentation slide that we have here. So we're dragging it to the center and we're making it big. Now, the next thing you can do is that you can crop out the beginning or the end of your video, meaning that you can delete parts of your video. But in Canva, you can only delete the beginning or the end. It's not possible as yet for you to delete anything in the middle of the video. So let's select the video and then you're going to look for this little scissor icon right up here and you're going to click that. So currently the video is a minute and 49 seconds long. Let's say we, we had some silence at the beginning and we want to delete all of that. You simply click and drag this little icon right here and it automatically deletes whatever you want to take off at the beginning. Then you move over to the right and select done. Let's say we want to take something off the end as well. You do the exact same thing. Click on the video, go back to the scissor icon, and then you go over to the end and drag that section off. And you can drag it as 
much as you want now our video is down to 11 seconds so we've taken off some at the beginning we've taken off some at the end and all you have left is 11 seconds worth of content now let's say you wanted to add more video content to the beginning or the end of this video this is what you would do so we're going to add something to the end so we're going to add a new page and we're going to find the video that we want to add at the end let's upload it. let's see here's another testimonial from another client so I let's so drag this down a little bit so it, it gets a little yeah. bit more <laughs> um, rectangular in shape there you go we're gonna drag this up as well stretch it out a bit so it fits onto this template and that's it once you hit share present or play you will notice that both videos will play automatically awesome now the final thing I want to show you is how you can add text or images or any kind of graphics to your video as an overlay the first thing you want to do is go over to the left and select either photos if you want to add a, another image or elements if you want to add some icons or so on let's say we're gonna do the celebrate we're looking for something that has a celebratory mood so you can add animated elements so we're putting that there as well as you can add still elements either one perfectly fine so we're going to hit present and show you how those show up inside of the video as well you know i've been thinking about doing this for a while so as you can see everything plays exactly as it should now let's say we want to add some text you go over to the left again go to the text menu let's select heading or subheading either one it doesn't matter and we're going to drag that to the center and then what are we going to type here client success all right so let's make that a little bit bigger Let's change the font and the color. So we're changing the color here. Change it to bold so that it looks a little bit more obvious. Let's change the font. There you go. Trying to find a color that doesn't blend in as much. All right, let's just use the red for now. And that becomes our brand new video now you can easily download this onto your device and it will play as one video so i'm going to hit the download button when you're downloading do not forget that you must select the option that says mp4 video if you do not select this option it will not download as a video it will download as something else it's probably going to be a still image but ensure that you select the mp4 video option and then download now, once this downloads, I'm going to come back here and show you exactly what it looks like as a video saved to my device. And while we wait on the video to download, I want to remind you to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You're going to be getting tons of information how to get your course out there into the world, some of the tools that you can use to make the most of your course for your students and ensure that they have an incredible experience with you. All right, so the video has been downloaded to my device and I'm gonna show you where one video ends and the transition so, takes place. I Did you see that? Experience. Watch it again. It did not take me too long to complete. So, I am so super as you can see, right now, you like... can literally add a video to the end of what you currently have or at the beginning using Canva. And those are the simple editing techniques that you can use inside of your Canva presentation to edit your videos.
now don't forget to subscribe so you can learn more about how you can optimize your online course as well as go to joincoursevault.com to learn how to launch and profit from your own online course that's it for now and see you on the next video Thank you.